Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my recent purchase. Uh, I just recently ordered some, uh, yeah, some prop cards for my Mavic Air 2. I ordered them directly from DJI shop and uh, to my surprise actually they were coming all the way from China. I mean I just assumed that you know there's going to be sort of a local shop here in the UK but no that wasn't the case. They had to be shipped all the way from China. But having said that, to my surprise, actually, it took only about what six days for them to be delivered, which I thought that was quite impressive, you know, considering you know the kind of atmosphere that we are under, you know, with the pandemic. Okay, guys, here's the package. Um, I'm just gonna tear it open quickly. Just unfold my knife for safety reasons. And inside, you've got the Mavic Air Propeller Guards Guide. It's quite a little bit comprehensive, actually, just for prop cards. I mean, what I've done is I've had a look on YouTube uh, to see how you actually put these things together. So I think I've got a rough idea of how to actually do it. I'm just going to tear this up. Check it out away. Same goes for that. Hopefully, I'm not losing focus there as I'm moving my hands. No, not I believe these props are actually labeled. Yeah, this one says RF DJ1 here. So that means that's the right front. So I will be putting that maybe there. So I'm presuming this one will be the let's see if it's level. Yes, it says RBD1 right behind. That's what I'm presuming. So that means these other two will be going on to the other side. There we go, that's the left one. My understanding is you can join this to together easily like that. Just push push them in. They're supposed to sort of clip. And on this side here we've got the right hand side which we just join in like that. And there you go you've got the props. To put them on your drone I believe you've got these clips here. I don't know whether you can see them there. They just open and close, just like that. The same goes for the back ones as well. Let's see if I can actually connect them to my drone. Okay, I will put this box aside. So you should always open the top ones first. That will then allow you to move. Ones easily, just like that. So to connect that, remember guys, this is the first time of me actually doing this. But my understanding is it just goes in like that, if I'm not mistaken. And then that shouldn't clip into that. And this one, once that's in, should clip in like that. Yeah. Let's see if I can do the other side. Again, just lift it up. Put that front uh, leg in. Okay, I think we need to make sure that they're both open. And then just put the drone in like that. Make sure it's all the way in. And then click it in. Same goes for the back one as well. Make sure it's all in. And then you click it in. There we go. Boom. That's it. That's done. I've got to say, first impressions, I do like these uh, propeller cars. They do look like they were well made. 
Um, my understanding is uh, from the mine more, it says that they weigh, what, 90 grams? So it's not that much. I don't think it's going to add that much of a uh, weight issue in terms of, uh, you know, your flight time and your drone. However, I'm going to do a test on that. I'm just going to do a quick sort of a hover test with my two batteries. See how much each battery lasts, one without the prop cards and the other with the prop cards. And then we can sort of uh, make a fair comparison. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about was, I think we, okay, first and foremost, you know, they do look nice, I think, on the drone. Uh, and they do offer some protection on your drone from, uh, you know, the sides, either the, especially on the, yeah, on the left and the right hand. The back and the front, it does offer protection, some sort of limited protection. I think what you need to be extra mindful of is, for example, I mean, if you're flying towards a wall, then yes, that's going to be, you know, protected like that, isn't it? However, if you're flying towards something like a tree, there is a massive gap here, so your propellers can still be damaged, so you just need to be extra sort of mindful because of that but on the sides you will protect it on the top however the propellers are still quite vulnerable so it just depends where you're flying like for example if you're flying underneath a bridge or something like that you're gonna hit the roof or if you're flying inside the house you're gonna hit the roof as well you're gonna damage the propellers uh, the same goes for things like uh, you know, trees and stuff. With trees as well, even on the sides, you just be extra careful because twigs can easily just go through, but that goes for all propellant cards, isn't it? When you're so far flying in trees, so you just need to be extra careful. In terms of taking these propeller guards off, it's way, way easy because all you do is unclip here, like that. And then the same goes for the back one. Move them up, and then your propeller gut should easily come out. And I don't know whether you remember when I was talking about uh, this joint earlier. It's how easy it is to actually take them off. And this is an advantage when it comes to packing and carrying as well, because all you do is pull. You've got something which is very, very short. Uh, when it comes to put, putting them back uh, together, uh, well, Again, it doesn't take that long. That's it. And then just be extra mindful which one is the front. That's that. And this is the back. Make sure that it's uh, in all the way. And then you just clip. I don't, I don't know whether you can see me here. Boom. That's it. The same goes for the bottom one as well which is here so my orientation with the camera is a bit poor so that's in make sure that it's in here here make sure that it's actually in and then clip make sure that it's clipped yeah that's um then it is actually clipped in okay i'm gonna move on to the next part which is the hover test